I'm Sarah Chetty and I'm a Spanish major at NC State. I've been going to contra dances for three and a half years. My first dance was in March 2012. I'm a clogger. I started clogging in November 2005 and I've, I started ballroom dancing sophomore year in college. A friend of mine from high school introduced me to Contra. She knew that I liked clogging, so she figured that I would like Contra since it's kind of similar. So sometimes during free periods at school, she would teach me how to swing, do different twirls, how to dip. And so that was handy when I went to my first Contra dance because I was already a little bit experienced. When someone asks me what Contra dancing is, I usually start by comparing it to square dancing because more people are familiar with what that looks like. So I tell them that it's kind of like square dancing except instead of progressing in a square formation, there's a line of couples and you progress up and down a column. My favorite thing about Contra dancing is getting dipped and twirling so much that I can't see where I'm going. But I also like that you can really make it your own. If you want to just stick to what the caller is saying, stick to the basic figures, that is perfectly fine and that's really fun. Or if you want to add dips and twirls and flourishes, then that's perfectly fine too. So you can really make it as basic or as complex as you want. One of the most memorable contra dances I've been to was in South Carolina. It was kind of very out in the middle of nowhere in a pretty old building, but it was an advanced dance and it was some of the most experienced and fun dancers I've ever been with and the calls were very complicated, so complicated that even a whole group of experienced dancers couldn't figure them out. So it was lots of fun. The music was great, the figures were great, very good experience. I definitely would recommend Contra to my family and friends and in fact I recommend Contra to people I meet every day. If I run into people and I'm like, hey you should totally come Contra dancing, it's really easy for beginners, if you can walk you can dance. And I really think that that saying is especially true for Contra, it might not be for all dances, but if you can walk forward and walk backward and walk to the left and walk to the right, you can Contra dance. So I think everyone should at least give it a try. So two tips I would have to someone who's never contra danced before would be for one, bring cool, comfortable clothes because you will get really, really hot and you want to have something cool and comfortable. And also bring water, water, Gatorade, hydrate yourself because you will sweat a lot and you don't, you don't want to get dehydrated. <laughs>